In the darkened, blackened ruins of the Westgate shopping centre, the forensic investigation goes on. It's still smouldering after the massive fire and explosive collapse of the building. Three stories of rubble where some of the secrets of the terror attack are entombed. If there is anything of use here, the experts from around the world hope to find it. With army guides, some people are coming to see if their vehicles survived. For this group, it was a distinctly disappointing discovery. Daniel Anjalia stayed at his employer's house for the whole of the attack. He was literally next door, watching as the terrorists murdered in cold blood. I saw somebody coming, telling people lie down. Then he, after lying down, he just put the gun at the bag. So I don't know where he was taking them, but they were just going in the waste gate. Yeah. So you saw him take people away, hostages? Yeah, I saw. Even where he was shooting, there was a lot of people. But everyone was hiding inside the car. Uh, there was somebody who was and some, just, just like crying. So myself, I was very afraid. The Patel family lost close friends in this attack. By chance, they broke a family tradition of Saturday lunch at the Westgate. Incredible fortune, but they're all traumatised. And I suppose it's a, there was a good chance you could have been in there as well on no. Saturday. Normally on Saturday, you know, I had a niece who was leaving for India, so we didn't go. My sister-in-law just was there and uh, had gone there for shopping and came home at around 10.30, quarter to 11. So she just missed that. Well, the residents of the luxurious houses and manicured gardens of Westlands never thought that terror would strike near to them. Well, as you see, it did. In fact, it was right next door. Those same residents are asking questions about what happened here. They say there's still loads of unanswered questions. Many feel that the government is hiding behind the investigation taking place rather than telling them what happened and why. So the investigation goes on as the wrecker teams take away the debris and the cars. There are lots of questions and Kenya wants to hear some answers. It could take a while. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Nairobi.